Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Pregnant with PCOS. This is going to be my 30 week bump date. I can't believe how close it's going It's going right now. Or how, how fast it's going and how... I just feel like I just did one of these like a few days ago and it's been like a week. It's crazy how time is definitely flying. So I want to do some like kind of symptoms, things I wanted to kind of talk about. Um... Uh, well, first, I'm, this is my 30-week bump date, but I'm 31 weeks today, and the baby is the size of a coconut, so I don't know, that big, <laughs> size of a coconut, about 17 inches long, and about 3.2 pounds, so, yeah, baby's getting big, um, after this video, I'm gonna put up, well, a couple maybe days I'm gonna put up my 3d ultrasound or 4d ultrasound experience and then what I got for my baby shower because my baby shower was last weekend and it was pretty good um, um, just like just like with a wedding you have a lot of anxiety wanting to make sure things are right at least I do so I think everything went down smooth and I'm so thankful for my mom and my husband and all my family and friends that came so, um, some symptoms I'm having is a little shortness of breath and like in the back, in my back, my lower rib, like it almost has like a knot in it where like I can't fully expand my ribs to take like a deep breath and it's been kind of hard but um, my husband has asthma so he said put your hands up and it will help you breathe better and it totally does. And yawning. <laughs> and I'm definitely, for the past week, I'm feeling a little bit more fatigue or just tiredness. Yesterday, I basically did nothing. And I swear, like at 9 o'clock, I was like tired. I was ready to go to bed. So fatigue is definitely creeping its way in. A swelling has creeped its way in too. Um, uh, my right foot is definitely swelling. It's, oh, Monday, it was, it was really bad. But I was on my feet, like, the entire day. But, um, so to combat that, I am definitely, when I watch TV, I put my foot up. I've been icing it. Um, and i just been not trying to stand as much, but also still trying to walk. And I'm definitely going to eventually get some Epsom salt, so hopefully that will help. So, Today has actually been decent with my foot, but the past two days it was a little bit swell, swelling and um, a little bit, the skin was tight on it. What else? Um, um, so my hips, my hips and my legs, like kind of like under my butt area, are feeling sore still. I think I said that last week, but they're still feeling sore, so I wonder if that's just me moving or because I haven't been like doing extra exercises or anything specific so that's just been feeling a little sore um and let me think of anything else it was my two-year anniversary yesterday so that was exciting me and my husband just did low-key just a dinner because we gotta pay for this baby and this hospital bill that's going to come eventually. So we are just saving our money and just being smart <laughs> with our money, basically. So with my checklist, I'm already at four minutes. I've been a chatterbug. <sighs> um, I did symptoms. Sleep. Sleep has been the same. Waking up, give or take, every two hours to go pee. Because um, for the swelling, I am, well, I think my foot swole swelled so much on Monday I don't think I drink enough so I'm really really trying to take in that water so sleep has been just difficult because I'm just peeing all the time so but that's normal so just peeing all the time um acne um it's okay my acne is definitely it's clearing up but definitely some little scarring and definitely have to cover so eh, that sucks but at least I don't have any like real active ones 
Um, am I missing anything? I really want sushi. Again. Like, that's like the only thing I miss is sushi. So I think it's time for me to go back to my favorite sushi spot and to get my rice balls and just to get the feeling of sushi. i just been really wanting it and thinking about it. Um, craving anything, the feeling of sushi, like the rice and the, just the textures of it. Um, I think that's it. I'm not avoiding any foods. I like everything, basically. <laughs> um, um, am I looking forward to, to anything? Um, uh, my next appointment is May 31st, but at this point, I'm not really looking forward to anything specific. Oh, I'm looking forward to today. We are going to, um, we're going to tour the hospital I'm going to have the baby at. So, Brian texted me like two hours ago. He was like, I'm kind of excited to go. And I was like, good, I'm kind of glad that you're excited. So, that's, that's kind of exciting exciting and then I'm also excited to um, keep doing the Lamaze classes I have two more left um, and I'm excited to do my other classes that I want to do as well because I just want to learn as much because I feel still not prepared for actual baby like I have like mainly all the stuff but I just don't feel like I have the technique to actually take care of the baby if you get what I'm saying but yeah, um, um, scared of anything, um, labor, of course, uh, we talked about last, my last Lamaze class, we talked about, like, pain medications and what, what, if you want to do, what you don't want to do, and uh, I'm just, I don't know, it's just so scary to think going naturally, like, that pain scares the crap out of me, and then the epidural, like, the epidural doesn't scare me, but, like, the aftermath of it, the epidural, like, I don't want to have back pain, like, long-term back pain, but I don't know. It's just kind of scary, and I guess I told myself I'm just going to just, in the moment, I'm going to decide and see how painful everything is. Um, uh, moody or happy? Um, I would say mostly happy, but yesterday... I don't know why, but I was feeling moody. I was just kind of feeling down, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. I just kind of was, like, grumpy. But, I don't know. I think that's hormones, though. Because I wasn't grumpy at anything. I was just kind of grumpy. Hair. Um, the same, but you know what? I'm going to lift my hair. But, like, there's, like, oh, you can't see. Like, there's, like, these little pieces growing, I feel. I don't know. I just kind of noticed them yesterday, and I was like, ooh, maybe that's, like, new hair growth. <laughs> I was excited. Oh, and actually, um, when I got my hair done the last time, my, uh, the stylist said that she could tell that my heart, my hair was growing, of course, but she noticed that my hair was growing actually darker than it normally did. So that's interesting. That has to be hormones, but interesting. Um, no spotting. Um, and clothing. I haven't gotten any new clothing. I got one pink shirt for the baby shower. Because I did not wear a dress because I just still look fat in a dress. I don't even look pregnant. I just look fat. And I wanted something like a little bit more form-fitting. But yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to show you my belly. And... I am getting to the point where definitely you can tell that I'm pregnant. I'm so excited. Still not really in my work clothes, but in regular clothes, you can definitely tell. So, this part's really poking out, but I think this part is, is trying to poke out still. There. My tippy toes. This side looks. This. Oh, I wonder. She might be over here. Cause do you see how like, I don't know. To me, this this looks rounder. Then, right here, it kind of goes up and then down. 
Huh, she might be over here, actually. But, yes. So, thank you guys for watching. And, like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And any videos you want me to see, let me know. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a great day.